ChatGPT only remembers 1400 words about you. That's two pages. That is an illusion of long-term memory. My friend Rainier also just lost 10,000 of conversations inside ChatGPT because OpenAI just suspended his account. Over the many years, I've been obsessed about the concept of second brain and system thinking. But I think always fundamental issue with that was that you have to maintain it. You see, you have to manage, you have to tag, you have to link ideas. Second brain should be something that is working in the background and you can trust, that is reliable. And I think, think that AI right now is exactly unlocked that possibility. Let me just show you what I mean. What do you know? about Malin. We build AI second brain based on three principles. Remember everything, connect everything, you own it, can take it anywhere you want, and anybody, I mean anybody, can set it up in less than 10 minutes. Imagine you're walking in a conference and you see a potential prospect partner that you worked with. Real story, by the way. That person and contract and relationship that that person is worth 400k, right? And you are like, wait, where did they travel recently? Also, they told me that we spoke at the conference, but I have no clue and don't remember. Also, my team, I know that we had a separate call where I was not involved. I wonder what was kind of like a conversation there or any insights. And basically, you just shoot a message to your AI second brain. It pulls information from the call transcripts. It pulls information from CRM. It pulls information from your previous conversations. Now, when I meet people or like they recommend books or we talk about something, first of all, I immediately send kind of like a summary voice note, everything kind of like a brain dump. AI detects if there is any actionable items. It creates tasks. And if anything, it also blocks time on my calendar to process this or follow up. I can't explain to you how much this is saving my life, personally and professionally. I, I, I can rant about this all day long, but let me show you what I mean. Here you go. So I got what I know about Malin. Her birthday is on May 31st. It already passed. She's lactose intolerant and does not eat eggs. So any gift or treat should avoid this. You have a plan to celebrate Malin's birthday, June 15th. You have reminders to set to buy her a birthday gift. Because it's also connected to the internet, I can, I can tell what she likes or what I think would be great as a gift. This, this is memory. This is those different areas all coming together. The second principle is that people get different workflows, automations, and entrepreneur and a founder, you wear so many hats and you manage so many tools. So if you don't want to have a big team or like personal assistant, the system is perfect for you because the way the way we designed it, it ties everything together. For example, if I have a separate workflow in a completely separate automation tool, right? Uh, we use Make, we use N810, Relevance, AI, Zapier, whatever new tech comes out, it doesn't really matter. The principle is that you always want things to come to one place, to have like a central hub. Let me show it again to you. I have that every hour, which I should really actually change, I have the whole automation that it pulls information from news API, from Hacker news, also I think from Reddit and whatever, what so not sources, and basically double checks, fact checks, and gives me a quick rundown of the most prominent news that is happening right now in the last hour. And if there is, for example, research that is unconfirmed, or there is some detects that there is some debate, it identifies that to me, like because news are filled with PR releases, and I wanted. Clarity. If somebody sent me a LinkedIn message, it's not, it's not right now showing properly formatted, but that's one click fix. Wait, let's do that. Jarvis, remind me to fix the formatting of automation for LinkedIn and also from school messages right after I filmed and create a task and block time on my calendar in the next 30 minutes. Okay, so where, we, uh, where have we been? I also have separate automation about emails. If 
AI detects with its high importance and urgency, basically using Eisenhower method, it sends me also in the same chat. Again, a little bit more news than me just brain dumping and so on. And you can add whatever you want. So the principle two is, and this is key, everything what comes into this central kind of like messaging app, like imagine with your key right-hand person, AI also remembers, remembers that different bots are sending you messages. And therefore, if there was something in the news or some email that came out, because it remembers, I can ask it naturally, like a week, two weeks later. The third principle is it has to be cheap. It has to be that any single person, non-technical, doesn't matter what age, doesn't matter what background, would be able to set up this whole thing in 10 minutes. Just forget templates, forget blueprints. That is so 2024. Just keep in mind that the leverage is using new technology in new ways before it hits mainstream. It has to be dirt cheap and flexible so that you can take this whole brain, place it in Telegram, Slack, Discord, whatever else you work, but also, not only have an agent in different places, but have your memory. So if you're working with Claude, you can just tap into your brain and memory and store new things from your work with, for example, Claude or ChatGPT inside that memory. I'm going to show you what I got from the last note. I have created a task for you to fix the formatting of automation. I have blocked 30 minutes on your kernel starting. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, Boom, this. Fix formatting for automation. Okay, task created. And then let's look at my, oops. Here you go. There is, uh, there is an event booked. Fix automation of, uh, fix formatting of automation for LinkedIn message time block to fix. I know that there is many tools and people talk about how to make money with AI. I, I just so excited about the potential for every entrepreneur and founder to save time because the real currency is time. Save time on manual management and memory and actually use the time with people and things that matter the most.